So continuing our discussion of vectors, now we're going to talk about indexing of vectors, um, which is how do you access the values within a vector, um, either changing them or extracting them, what have you. So let's take a vector, um, I'm going to call it vector A, and that's going to be, let's say, the value 16, 42, 8, 12, and 5. Let's not use 5 there. Let's use, I don't know, uh, 20, 27. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, we keep in mind, this is like memory locations. A refers to that. And it's a series of five memory locations. The first being addressed at A1, the second one being addressed at A2, A3, A4, and A5. Okay? And so A1 has the value 16 in it, A2 has the value 42, A3 has the value 8, uh, A4 has the value 12, and A5 has the value 27. Um, wow. um, okay, so indexing is about how do we get to those values? Well, if you understand this, then the indexing part's really straightforward. If you do A at 1, that's going to be the value 16. A at 2 is going to be the value 42. A at uh, 5 is going to be the value um, 27. Um, if you try to index A at 6, the computer is going to give you some kind of error. It's usually it's going to ding at you and give you some red text and scream at you because it's, it's not the right index. Uh, the indexes have to be positive integers. And so likewise, you could not index at A negative 1. That's going to give you an error as well. So just keep that in mind. But if you understand how this data is laid out, then the indexing uh, numerically is very easy. And so this is uh, numerical indexing. We're also going to explore indexing with ranges and, and booleans, but right now these are numerical indexes. Um, so that's it. Uh, now if you want to set the value, let's say I want to set the value of, of an element. I can do that uh, very easily with A. If I did A3 equals, I don't know, um, 99, then, um, then the third value, what that's going to do is come over here to location A3 and replace the 8 with the value 99. Um, and so that's how you can change. So you're assigning the value 99 to A3. And so you're indexing it right there. Um, if you wanted to get rid of an element in a vector, you wanted to remove an element in a vector, uh, you set it equal to the empty vector. Um, and so if I wanted to remove, and my marker's messing up here, if I wanted to remove, let's say, um, A2, um, so A2 is going to equal the empty vector. The empty vector looks like that. It was the brackets, um, that bracket followed by the other bracket with nothing in between. And so that's the empty vector. So what I've done there is now, once I execute this command, um, A2 is going to go away. It's not just going to get emptied like that. That's not it. It's going to go away completely which means the vector now sort of rearranges itself into something that looks like that because now these have effectively shifted down one because you removed you know, if you think of it like trains, you've removed a train, a car from the rail, and so everything shifts down. And so now, if I went back, now the value A2 is actually 99 now. Uh, 
and of course a4 is now 27 and if I did an a5 now I would get an error uh, because there no longer is an a5 because um, a2 got removed and everything shifted down so uh, that's um, that's how you index vectors um, with with numeric with numbers that's numerical indexing uh, So now let's go to MATLAB on indexing vectors. Uh, we'll start off by creating a vector. Uh, do direct entry here, 16, comma, 42, comma, 8, comma, 12, comma, 27. Uh, and then I'll suppress that. And then let's see what happens when we try to access uh, A1. Uh, in fact, let's do this. Let's say that B equals A1. Uh, we'll do this and we'll save it as, um, let's call it my vec index. Okay. All right, so now um, if you look what happened uh, down low, since I didn't suppress up here, um, we got B equals 16. And then over here, if you look, um, A is equal to our vector, and B is equal to the value 16, which is the first index location um, in vector A. Um, let's continue on. Uh, let's say C equals A2. Um, and I'm going to suppress these. Uh, and B equals A5. So let's execute this. And you notice that as predicted, C being A2, which is the second value, is 42, and D being A5, which is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th value, is 27. Had I done A3, I would have gotten 8. Had I done A4, I would have gotten 12. So you get the idea of how these work. Now, if I try to index beyond the end of the vector, let's say if I said B e equals A6, and they're not six things in the vector, uh, if I try to run that, I wind up getting an error. I get uh, It dings at me and gives me the red letters of death down here. Um, likewise, if I try to index at zero, some of you are, interested, are, are used to, if you've programmed before, maybe used to indexing arrays at zero. Uh, well, if you do that here, you once again will get the beep and the red letters of death. So indexing starts at one in MATLAB. Um, so that's that's how you access values. Now, and let me get rid of this um, so I will not get the ding anymore. Um, so that's how you access values. Now, how would you assign values? What if I want to change the vector? Well, that's easy as well. If I wanted to change the third element in the vector, which is the 8, to the value 99, oops, I simply type in A3 equals 99. And um, if I hit it there, you look and see now the vector A now has the value 99 where there used to be the value 8. Um, and I can do that for any 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 value indexed in the vector. If I wanted to remove uh, a value, let's say if I wanted to remove the second value, the number 42, uh, I index the second value at A2, and that equals the empty vector, which is the, are the double brackets with no space in between. Uh, so it's the uh, opening brackets, close brackets. If I execute that, then I'm going to get um, a new vector. Notice this vector only has four things in it, and the second thing has been removed. And so now, um, if I tried to index the fifth element here, I would get an error because um, it no longer has five elements in it. It only has four. So be very mindful of that. Um, as well as uh, when I did not suppress the whole value for the uh, four element, the new four element vector came out there as well. So that's indexing. Um, an array. 
uh, just numerically. And so next up we will index um, an array using the range.